Um, who's doing the project on, on uh, West Elm Street? Right now, the DPW is waiting for CPC funds. There's sort of construction out there, though. Who's yes, the DPW is. Did they cut down some elm trees? No. Well, we cut the dead elm trees down. They were dead? Yep. What about, um, shouldn't there be a silt sock between the construction I and the, I, the I went down river? and looked and I counted seven elm trees that were quite a lot. Plenty of cambium on them, they're green. I, they got all cut. I know is, I'm just saying, I'm pretty good at this, they got cut. And I'm, I've been doing it for 32 yeah. years and they took the dead ones down, no. that's all I can tell you. Um, no. The silt sock, I didn't think it was a big issue because there's enough stuff between where we're working and where the water, but tomorrow morning there will be salt stock put out there. Good thing. Yeah. It looks like you're right up against the, the river. No. no. I, was in, I walked are? it tonight. Yeah, I push. walked it tonight. There's a section that has a wooden, an old wooden barrier. Yeah. And, uh, it comes down to some cement. Then the hill is cut the back. They, the vegetation on the side of the hill is all, it's been cut down, but it's the root, root is all still right. there. The roots are there. That's so cool. it was down. There's one spot part way down, but there's a eight or ten foot of bank area that's open. So did you see yeah. the pictures that I sent, Rachel? No, I didn't see you. I, they, yes, I, I was over on the yeah. Hanover side. You look, yeah. and the construction goes right down to the water. And yeah. I'm sorry, there's nothing there blocking anything. Well, if, if, if you go out and walk at this, I, I walked it tonight before I came here, and you know. I saw nothing that was over alarming, but we're going to take we'll take care of it anyway. The, we, the most alarming thing that I've found is that North South River claimed jurisdiction up there in our park. I, we have to do everywhere. They claim it everywhere. Whether they have it well, this is what I'm saying. In all the years we've taken care of the park and done everything else there, nothing has been said. Now all of a sudden, they're claiming 100 feet from the edge of the water. Well, well that's not bad. I uh, they yeah, they're right. trying to trump we'll the conservation. And, and I don't want to fight. I, know, I, yeah. I don't want to fight with them, but I just want to find out why they think yeah. they have you no know, jurisdiction on, on a pack that we've been taking care of and had for years. So, real quick, two park benches. Uh, the Herring Run has one park bench with rotted seat pieces that like if he even stood on it. The Herring Park, just different subject real quick, but the Herring Park benches that you sit on picnic tables, one of them is completely trashed up at one whole side of the bench. I wouldn't trust it to get his yes, leg stuck in. In other words, are you saying the whole table needs to be destroyed? I, I think before a kid gets his leg stuck in the seat, yeah, it would be better than you or pop, pop, it pop off some. No, I don't have time. Yeah, or pop off some sort of, pop the boards off and screw some others on. But so how do we get that done? Get some volunteers down there to do it. <coughs> Let's see what we can arrange. Yeah, I think it's something that uh, just before the fish fry, we did for everybody to have it fixed. Just wanted to bring that up. Um, so can we go back to the other subject yeah, for a second? The thing, I mean, I, I, I'm not... I'm um, high school educated at that. I haven't really taken any courses, but I put some fairly good money on the fact that I can go show you five living West Elm Street trees, elms that were at least five, six, seven inches across that are no longer there. And they're a hard tree to get going. And we're going to spend money for them at the ballpark. I'd just like to see them preserved when possible. Then you said that they're already growing again, so they'll be there much. Well, I said now they show life. They're cambium, they're green, and they're alive. So it work. Uh, whether you need a silt sock there or not, it's a good example for us to set. Where, I mean, if it's a town project, we should do everything the way we're asking other people to do them. Mm -hmm. Well, but is, is the elm a protected species? No, I'm not saying it's a protected species. I'm saying it, it's a tree that left alone would be a grand tree at a park. I'd have to see where it is. That sometimes you go up and die. I understand that a lot of them are offshoots from stumps and old roots, and that can go on for years. But I, I felt these were actually seed trees. And I've seen them in Pembroke in a few places, and I'd like to see them come back whenever possible. That's all. I believe the whole idea of what's being done up there right now is that the town people felt that it was a disgrace coming oh, into I, I the town of Pembroke with what was there. Yeah, the and so the, 
the DPW crew has been finding time out of their other schedules to to clean it up, and now we're crucifying them uh, in all different right. directions for. Not crucified. Oh, I know, John, you, not just there, but I mean everything else. And, you know, here they are doing something beyond what is their, their job. They definitely have enough other things in yeah. town to do, and yet we're, we're fighting for. Maybe we did cut down some yeah. live I, elms, I, but. I think more, is, more importantly than that one, let's go past the elms and stuff. That's what it is. Um, the knotweed, I again, to, there is no applicable way to get rid of that stuff other than dig it out. I understand. So dig it out and get rid of it all. Uh, however, you have to do it within the guidelines if it's allowed. But get it out of there. I'm all for it. I mean, dig it out, do whatever you got to do, and get rid of it. <laughs> if you got to put a silk stock up to do that, put a silk stock up and dig more of it out. You know? See, I. Out of this whole thing, I have one major problem because not one. I may have a lot more than one. I have a major problem. Is through all of this, the one thing that bothers me more than anything else is we have a damn safety factor up there that isn't been taken care of. No, it's definitely. And and you know we're worrying about trees. We're worrying about silt sock. And we have five and six foot straight drop over yep. the edge with no fence, and there isn't a soul saying very much about it. And I was going to get to me that, part. that you know the safety part is far more important than our other and, and problems that we have up there. Having lost all my best friends as a kid, they're off that safety drop. <coughs> you know, we pain. It, we it have a realistic thing. You it's find it is, else it's a there. it's a what do we do up there because. Money. We don't have any money That's yet to do to go into buying or doing the fence work that needs to be done to make it a decent looking park at, that they want. There. Safe, at least. But I'm all with you at the same say. time, we have something there. We don't really want to put up snow fence. No. That that would be as ugly and temporary, be a temporary as we fence, can. You know, you know and. So I'd like to have someone come up with some uh, short-term ideas of what we're going to do Black because no matter what we do for funding, there's no funding until after the 1st of July. I would suggest that whenever we take Black Locust down, we think of this as a project where we have the best, you know, pressure-treated wood in the world that's a non it's an invasive we want to get rid of. Use it for posts and rails, and do a park look. And Eric, that's yeah. and that's great, and that's fun. But we can't get anything out. We we have to have manpower to get these that. things done, and we have more projects. If if we took the manpower that we have available and had them just sit down and write down all the projects, they kept busy most of the time writing down the projects that need to be right. done, not doing the projects. I'm just saying, as far as money. <coughs> Black locust is free. You get it off the drums everywhere. It would be something. Yeah, it's free you know, till you have to move it. Yeah, I have I've moved, I've made clean, to move yeah. it. But um, Latrano, something like that, we may have the same. You may just find the right thing happens. Talk to Latrano, see if he's got something coming out of the deck. There's a lot of stands of it over there. And it would be beautiful stuff and last for a hell of a long time. I think that's that's a great long term right. thing, but that's not no. I think short term, what can you really do? I think a fence would look ugly, like you said, a, a snow fence isn't really, you know. Jim Stewart's coming out to look at it, to see what he can come up on yeah. options. Yeah. Well, so I think, but it's, it's think, I think sometimes we have to step back a couple of feet and look at what, you know, there's, like there's a certain set of priorities that we need to do. We need to do all of them, but some are, uh, more. I mean, one guy, some one kid falls over there and breaks an arm or a leg, and all hell will break. The second this. one falls and we own you. Right. That's how that works. The one is a, is kind of happens, but two and you be on. And one of my dearest friends as a kid died right there under those falls. So it's definitely dangerous. And so I, I brought this up, but I don't mean to, to yeah. create the TPW guys' job out there.
But it was just some things that nobody did any for years. I went out there and I was very surprised, and I understand it's. You know, it may be I'm wrong, but I understand there might be seed put in what was what's there, yeah. you know, which then brings us. You know, and we know all of this is somewhat temporary because the long range plans. I, I think what I would say out of all this, right, is that we need to work together more and have a longer range plan and, and work together to get it done. Because right, yeah. the project, well, this, beat the I, project up. I have right. to say, this is a project that came to a front burner only because some people with a little authority in town basically said, clean this mess up get so done. that the driving into town, it doesn't look like we're going into the, uh, you know, and, and honestly, to get area. your final plan, sometimes you have to do a rough opening. Yeah. And I consider this the rough opening, yeah. and that's fine. But I think a, a, a plan of what it's finally going to be would be a nice thing to have. And I'm all for your fences, and because uh, that place is not, not too safe. I've forgotten half the structures up that were up on the top, all the concrete pads and everything. That's right, the water. There's nothing stopping that stuff from going in the water. I'm all done talking about it, so you guys do what you want. You guys do what you want. We're trying to do something nice and get criticized for it, so what? you guys are on your own. Let me sign the stuff so I can get out of here. You're taking it the wrong way, Scott. Uh, no, I, I'm taking it as... That's it. Everything gets dumped on us. Nobody else I see out doing anything other than the stupid fish in this town. And I'm just done with it. That's all. Well, so I'm done. Sometimes I think the fish are smarter than people. Sometimes I think we worry too much about the fish and not about the people in this town. So you know what? I'm done. You guys can take the goddamn fish. And I wouldn't care if one came back up. How does this the rest of my life to be fish when we're talking about something else? Because Everybody worries you're about the fish, but they don't worry about anything else in this town. So well, you were deflecting. Are you uh, saying that there's a okay. barrier there between the You know what, Rick, if that's what I'm doing, I'm deflecting, I guess. I, I would be too. No. Bobby, would you say there's a barrier there between the construction and the water? Oh, see, in other words, this is all roof system. Right. Yeah. right. I agree with that. So that you aren't going to get, you don't get. I agree. Uh, in other words, you don't get a hay bales aren't the only, aren't, uh, and silk fences and silk socks is the only thing that keeps the erosion from happening. Right. Well, I'll probably, so like, probably be writing my letter of resignation next week, Bob. So there's nothing being done to prevent erosion here at all. I mean, if anybody else did this, we, we'd yeah, be all we'd over the We'd be in trouble, and that's simply said. Um, again. Let's talk about solutions rather than problems. The only thing that did surprise me is I'm an elm tree guy, I like them. We want to spend money on them, and then we're cutting them down over here and spending money on them there. And I, I do understand before you can see the pallet, you have to clear it to see what you're going to do with what you got. I understand that. I'm fully aware that you can't go in there and say, okay, let's do this and this because you couldn't see anything in there. You couldn't really, that place was so overgrown. So I think it wasn't done with intent or malice, I don't believe. It was just done and we get overzealous and do things and that's kind of what this board is here to do for everybody is to kind of help everybody stay in check and do the right things the right way. As far as the fish being in com competition with everything, that's nothing to do with what we're talking about. That's just deflection. I know that I would just, I just like an equal playing field for people. I think sometimes that is hard to achieve, but we still try to achieve it. <coughs> but as far as the safety issue, well, you're absolutely correct. Like I said, I lost one of my best friends, 12 years old, dead, you know, right in the falls. So that, that is something that I, I don't know how to address all that. And certainly chain link is not pretty. 
Okay. Oh, it was. <laughs>